reputation. Fifteen years ago, it's the uh, Dan Davies, the Dirty Harry special, made his dream come true. Ooh, this one is nickel. People like the idea of having my wife and I take care of their firearm needs and treat them as people. In a decade and a half, Mary's Pistols, named after Davies' wife, has become part of their family. I spend more time here than I do at home. Everything in the store has meaning. Um, a late friend of mine built those rifle racks. For Davies, this 500 square foot space is much more than a store. This has been me for 14 years. Now, Davies worries Mary's Pistol's time is running out. They're throwing me away. Davies says the gun and ammunition tax the city is proposing will destroy not just his business, but the way he lives. I'm 64 years old. My eyesight's failing. My back is gone. My business is what I have. I'm obviously opposed to the ammunition tax. Tuesday, person after person addressed city council in opposition of the gun tax. City council member Ryan Mello sponsored this gun tax. I'd first want to very sincerely and respectfully acknowledge that the vast majority of gun owners are responsible. He says the tax has nothing to do with putting gun shops out of business. Instead, its focus is helping to keep Tacoma safe. It's not going to solve the entire gun violence problem. Uh, no one thing is, uh, but we have to do, I believe we have to do absolutely everything to keep our community safe and reduce gun violence. But for Davies, he believes this proposed law will only impact local business. They're hurting my family, they're hurting my friends. This store is a lot of glue that holds a lot of people together. Reporting in Tacoma, AJ Janivel, Q13 News. Well, Tacoma City Council is expected to have final vote on the gun tax at their next council meeting, which is next Tuesday, October 29th. Here's how it will work if it's passed. There will be a $25 tax on all gun purchases and two cents per round on ammo 22 caliber or less, while five cents will be taxed for all other ammo. Well, Seattle passed basically...